welcome to today's press conference to preview our Champions League game versus Juventus tomorrow. There is a translation service available on this Zoom call. If you click the interpretation button at the bottom of Zoom, you can select either English or Italian to listen to this press conference. If you would like a question today, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and we'll get round to as many of you as we can. We'll begin with John Southall from Five Live. Hello, Thomas. How are you? Can you hear me there? Yeah, you hear um, First of all, can we start off with um, the injuries? Is Romelu Lukaku ready to be involved? Will he be involved? Not sure yet. We have one more training. Yesterday he was in team training and seemed okay. Let's see about the reaction. He has uh, right now in the next minute an appointment with the doctors and, and physios to see about the reaction, see about the next training. Maybe, I mean, we have the chance to, to bring 20 players to the squad. Maybe we have the chance to, that he is in the squad for the last minutes. That will be the absolute uh, maximum what we can get out of the situation right now. Any other injuries? Jorginho came off at the weekend. Is he OK? Josh is absolutely OK. We had to take Kai off because of hamstring uh, problems. He felt a bit of tension in the hamstrings. So we took him off and um, we have some doubts with him. We need to check and, and see if he can train without uh, any problems. So these are, this is more or less the question mark. Timo feels good. He was in training yesterday. He's back in the squad again. And uh, Mateo Kovacic is out and that's it. And um, Juventus now, how much importance do you put on, on winning the group? Well, firstly and foremost, we do what we do. When we play football games, we try to win them. This is what we do and this will not change. Um, okay, later in the game, um, yeah, if, if, there is a, if, if the score sheet is a draw, we will maybe not, uh, not allow uh, Edu Mendy to, uh, to go into your opponent's box when we have a late, when we have a late corner because uh, we will not risk our qualification um, for, uh, and, and, and go all in if the situation is like this. But until this moment, we will try everything to win the game and uh, have a chance to win the group. And, and for this, we have to win the game. James Savundra, TalkSport. Thomas, do you feel like this period where you've been without Timo Werner and Romelu Lukaku has helped to improve the side's tactical flexibility, giving you even more options? We always had the options. Uh, it's on the players when they when they are needed, and then they have the chance to to show their potential. They need to show it, and they need to be ready. That's life at Chelsea, and this is what they do in a very impressive way. And uh, we always have options. And when we when we play with Romelu, we play with Romelu. When we play with Timo, we play with Timo. And when when they are not available, we try to find solution. That's why we are here, and that's why we have a big squad. And this is uh, why we trust everybody, because the guys know what it takes to play for Chelsea. And, and this is it. And um, we, we take care about uh, the, the, the attention goes to the guys who are available and are, who are fit. And, and uh, for, all the, for, for all the injured uh, uh, players and the guys are missing, they get our full attention to be as soon as uh, possible back on the pitch. And that's pretty much it. Jeremy Langdon, Sky Sports. Yeah, hi Thomas. Um, nice. It's a big week of course since United after you though. What did you make of the news from Old Trafford that uh, Ole's gone? Well, uh, not too much actually because we have a away game on Saturday and a home game on Tuesday and then we play Man United so we don't think about Man United today or tomorrow. We have uh, we are pretty occupied with preparing a Juventus game, and uh, I will not comment. I will not comment on this decision and on other clubs' uh, coaching uh, decisions. is simply not not my job to do. Matt Barlow. Hello, Thomas. Uh, I, I, I understand what you say about Manchester United. I, I wondered if you could could talk about Chelsea changed the manager in mid-season, last season, won this competition. Um, how, how easy is it to do that? Can <laughs> Manchester United do that? As simply as you may. I cannot say. I cannot say easy. That that will devalue my <laughs> our our effort. Uh, 
well listen i'm in the in the best place possible at at this moment so i'm a happy coach and i uh, and i'm a happy person so in in the moment where i am is, is perfect and uh, that's what i try to transmit and maybe what everybody feels and uh, i'm in the right place in the right spot so if is is the question really if if somebody else copies that i don't i don't know if so everybody sacks the coach now in january to win the champions league i think this is don't find don't find any things where there are no things to find and don't start uh, to 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 interpret uh, stuff where there's nothing to interpret and it's i'm the absolutely wrong person to 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 ask about it it's it's none of my business they do what they do and i have nothing to say about it that's it Thomas, um, i wanted to ask you about reese james um he got another assist in the last game um his numbers are, are pretty ridiculous this season um well, how much extra have you seen from him in a month by month and, and with his continued improvement and you think he can be the best sort of wing back in the world or full back in the world and um, do you not see him as a central defender anymore or do you see him as a wing back right now he plays as a wing back um, and he does this on a very high level for me I, I, I see no reason why we should now get carried away and, and think about things like is he the best in the world the best in England or the best in Europe this, these things doesn't, they do not help us I'm happy when he tries to be the best Reese James today in training and uh, if he plays then tomorrow on the pitch and uh, if he plays he needs to be the best version of himself on any position. He can play in the back three, he can play as a wing back, he played for England on a, on a, on a midfield position, he did for us when we played in Aston Villa uh, last year. He is improving. He steps. Uh, he he takes responsibility, and uh, it is needed. He is far from from finished uh, in his development. He is super young. He has all the potential to be a to be a big and important player for Chelsea, and and he's on his way. Not more, and obviously not less. And um, I I I I feel him. I feel him dedicated and and uh, hungry for more. And this is what we want. Mark Irwin. Hi Thomas. Um, I understand that the owner is in town at the moment. He was at the club yesterday. Are you expecting him to be at the game tomorrow night? And if he is at the game, is it important to put on a show for him? Because he hasn't been to Stanford Bridge very much recently. To put on a show for him? No, that's not important. Our show is the basics. The basics are our show. And uh, we give our very best uh, if the owner is here or if he's not here. Because if he's not here, I'm absolute. I know that he he will watch us and watch us close and and follow close. And um, we 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 put a show on a on a on a daily basis. And 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 I mean with show, I mean hard work to make him happy and um, and to entertain him and all our supporters who are in the in the stadium tomorrow. It's a big game, it's a tough game. We need everybody in the stadium full on. We need uh, ourselves to be on, on top level and, and, and this is what we do. And uh, if he's there, we are super happy, but will not change our approach. Matt Law. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, just, just another one on the owner. I just wondered with him being in London, whether you have had another meeting with him or are planning to I'm obviously not asking what that would be about and and secondly is he he's got quite a different aura for an owner about than a lot of owners you know he's almost a, a celebrity in his own right you see ex-players post pictures of themselves with him on social media do you get the feeling he is kind of a special owner does he give the players a boost that maybe other owners don't give to teams from your experience First of all, I, 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 I have to say that I don't know if he is in London uh, at the moment and will be in London tomorrow. Um, so that, ex that maybe answers the question if I met him, uh, no. Um, is he a special owner? I think first and most important, he's a football fan, huge football fan. He, uh, he is in love with the game, he's in love with the details, he wants, wants to know everything about it about uh, about what's going on here in Cobham and we keep him informed and we keep him posted because he has this uh, genuine interest and uh, genuine love for the game and this is the most important and this makes things very special 
uh, I have the feeling it's 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 about it's about uh, it's about this when uh, and he wants for this he wants to be entertained he wants to be competitive and he wants to have uh, the right attitude on on the pitch and this is what he created here is is amazing and uh, we are blessed to and to enjoy our time here in this club and and to cre keep on pro progressing and this is uh, what we do. Okay, we'll leave it there for Thomas. Trevor Chalaber will be through very soon. Thank you.